I'm going to show you a video that went viral recently. I'm going to analyze why it went viral because it was quite surprising to me. It's not the typical kind of viral video. And I think it gives me hope for what kinds of videos can be well liked by a lot of people. If you don't want to be the type of video maker that has to do a lot of editing and try to like, you know, get people's attention and be all charismatic and you know, all the things that are supposed to be what viral videos have a lot of visual um, attention getting elements or sounds that are really cool or um, the edits make it just this the amazing storytelling through uh, the edits or whatever it is. Um, I That exhausts me to think about that uh, for making that kind of video. Not that I will never, but it's just, it's just not my authentic um, sort of dream of what what kind of videos I would be making. Um, but like, you know, the ones from like Mr. Beast or whatever. But this video I'm going to show you is very different from all those. And as you watch it, I would be interested in your feedback on why you think this thing went viral. I'm going to share with you my thoughts on it. So let me go ahead and share my screen now. So as you can see here, this video was made eight days ago, July 9th. I'm recording this on July 17th. And it has more than 7 million views and 300, almost 348,000 likes. And how many comments? Uh, we can see 46,000 comments. Okay, so this is not, this is, is extremely atypical of YouTube videos. Most YouTube videos get zero views <laughs> of most, you know, and then a large chunk of YouTube videos, just, just so you have the perspective, right? I've been on YouTube for over a decade. Uh, making videos for over a decade. And I've been watching YouTube videos for, for much longer than that. And most YouTube videos that I make, that other people make, I teach a lot of people how to make YouTube videos. And most YouTube videos get very few views, just naturally. That's a large chunk. And then, and then, and then you know, that's most videos. And then also a large number of videos get a few dozen views. That's the, that's the majority, right? And then also a large number of videos get a few hundred views. And so like, as you get the, into the thousands of views, it becomes like the 1% of videos. I mean, it's really, the curve is amazing. And of course, now you get into tens of thousands of views. It's even tinier percent and hundreds and very, very extremely few videos get into the millions of views. So you might think, well, gosh, this person must be, this video must be really entertaining because that's what you would typically think of a viral video. Well, let's take a look and let's take a look at, just the first 10 seconds first, and then we'll go further from there. But check this out and tell me what you think, okay? Here, here are the first couple. As you may know, as you learn how to make videos or you, particularly YouTube videos, the first three seconds are incredibly important. The first three seconds, if you don't get their attention, you've lost people. You know, that's the typical guidance you're gonna get. Oh no, again, after the first three seconds, you gotta capture them for the next 10 seconds or the next seven seconds rather. The first 10 seconds are incredibly important. And then, of course, the first 30 seconds is what YouTube measures how many people watch past the, thir the first 30 seconds. So you got to make it. You got to talk fast like I'm doing right now. You got to have edits and, you know, lights and flashes and like, you know, um, cool sounds. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Most people would say, most YouTube you know, experts would say, you've already lost people. Listen, in, your, in the first two seconds, you didn't even say anything. It was just sounds of nature, which by the way, could itself be nice. It's nice sounds. And of course, a nice background, a very beautiful background. But this guy is not particularly good looking. I mean, he's fine, you know, but he's not, you know, he's not someone you would think of as, you know, a typical like influencer, good looking influencer, or whatever. He's not positioned well in the camera. Sure, he's showing the nice background, but he's got shadow on his face. Like, there's lots of stuff that a typical video expert would complain about uh, already in the first couple of seconds. But let's keep going here. Hi, I'm. He doesn't even say hi until four seconds in. Again, like I said, most YouTube experts would say the first three seconds, you got to capture their attention. He was pausing for the first three seconds, you see. And, and this is why this is so unique that it went viral within, within days. Let's keep going. Gooby from Gooby and Doobie. First of all, most people have never heard of Gooby or Gooby and Doobie. So again, he's starting this off supposedly as a very weak video and yet 
it has huge numbers of likes and views. Let's keep going. So, so 10 seconds in, 10 seconds in, we don't even know what the video is about other than, you know, we, we of course see the title of the video, but, um, and we'll, we'll talk about the title later, but, but it's amazing, right? Let's keep going. I used to be a neurosurgeon. I trained, or I went to college at MIT and did uh, four years of medical school and six years of neurosurgery training. And, and I, I was a neurosurgeon for almost. See, and uh, one thing I want to mention, he doesn't, there, is, there are no edits in this video. That's another remarkable thing. Most YouTubers say you got to make a high effort video. High quality video usually means high effort video, which means lots of cuts, edits, you know, graphical elements, um, different sound effects. And you got to script out the videos so that, you know, it's like when people are watching it, they could be listening to it and be pleasantly, you know, um, greeted by, by a very well scripted uh, series of words <laughs> not like what i'm doing right now but just like this guy this guy isn't scripting this he is just and he pauses the long pauses is usually cut out right in youtube videos let's keep going here almost 10 years after all of that so that's 20 years of my life and i quit so what is good about it thus far is that he starts off immediately with credibility that most people don't have, okay? And then he says something shocking, which is that he quit a high paying job or career, and now he's in the mountains. This is such a big contrast. And I think that's why, that's part of why this video went viral. It presents a giant contrast and, the, and big contrasts um, tickle the brain uh, create a lot of curiosity and interest to say, well, there's this, this very this big contrast that we don't typically expect. And we typically expect if you if you have a high paying job, you keep going, you make lots of money, you have lots of prestige, right? And why would you ever quit? But this guy quit after not that long. Okay, ten years is kind of long, but but most people like this would go for 20, 30, 40 years, right? He quit at, at towards the first part of his career. And now he's he's unemployed and, and alone in the mountains, right? Just just like the, just like the title says. So it presents a big contrast with, um, yeah. So that's number one. And number two is that he presents credibility right away, and also in his title, MIT educated neurosurgeon. Okay, he presents credibility that most people. Don't. So in other words, well, the YouTube experts perhaps were right. A high quality video usually takes high effort. Yes, rarely, I'm just gonna take, take a screen share off for a moment. There may be rarely a low effort video that gets lots and lots of views just by luck, just by somehow they said something that happened to be culturally relevant at the moment or, or whatever, okay? Low effort videos sometimes get lots of views, usually by luck, um, well, you, by, the, by definition. If you're not putting much effort into it, then it has to be by luck that it goes wild because otherwise you're not studying the best practices and doing that, you know, proven practices for, for what makes videos go viral. Anyway, so usually high effort videos are, are what's needed for high quality videos, right? Lots of effort. And you could say basically this was a high effort video that is 20 years in the making, right? He spent 20 years going to, well, first of all, it took a lot of effort to get into MIT, right? Most people can't do that, right? And I ironically, if I can just say something that might offend some of you, I, I hope I hope not. But it's an Asian dude, an Asian guy who got into MIT. All right, let's just pause for a moment here. Maybe 20 years ago, it was a bit easier. But nowadays, because uh, college admissions is bombarded by a lot of a lot of Asians, particularly East Asians, uh, are very academically strong and they apply and they don't want as many Asians. They want to balance out the racial, understandably balance out the racial diversity. So it's actually harder for Asians to get, get into MIT than, than, than other, you know, probably harder for Asians and whites to get into MITs than, than, than other races and other, other ethnicity. Anyway, so <laughs> he, he did something that most people that are, it's very hard. Most people can't do, got into MIT. So that's, that's part of his, 
credibility. And number two, he got into neuro, he got into medical school, which is even harder, again, especially for Asians, right? As you can see, you know, especially for Asians to get into medical school, it's even harder than for, for you know, another minority. Anyway, MIT, medical school and brain surgery, right? Like that's, I, 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 don't know, I can imagine that's even harder than other specialties um, because of how complex the brain and the spine is or whatever. Okay, so he's, he, it's already a high effort video in that he spent, he spent his life doing things that were really hard, really difficult and th th um, really difficult, um, worthwhile achievements that most people cannot do that society praises as being worthwhile, you know, b great school, you know, being a brain doctor. Okay. And then he has this giant contrast of quitting, right? Like I said, that the contrast is, uh, I think, a big reason why people are attracted to this video. And then the, the, the contrast in the story, not the contrast in the videos, he's not doing any video editing. So um, that, all that effort, that, that, the, the, what he's been able to achieve has um, out, um, basically it, it has, it, 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 it's overweight, the benefits of all that for this video is overweighed by the fact that it's, a, it's kind of a boring video. I mean, if you keep, again, I'll, I'll link to it below, but if you keep watching it, well, let me, let me continue on for a few more seconds and you, you will see. I quit last year. And nobody understood why I quit. And he's doing this throughout the video. He's like getting mosquitoes off his face for you know, seconds and seconds at a time, which again, you might say seconds, George. Yes, in YouTube land, every half a second counts for attention span and people clicking away, pausing, whatever. And that all that all that all adds into the algorithm whether people whether you the algorithm will recommend this video if if the algorithm finds that people are pausing or going away the algorithm goes hey this is not that interesting we're not going to show it to more people but of course the algorithm did this time because people weren't pod people kept watching let's keep going look how many look how many um, seconds before before he says anything right people would ask but you know. A decision that involves 20 years of your life, you can't really answer in a couple minutes. And most people don't have time to sit and listen to uh, you know, a 10 or 15 minute story or however long it takes to explain. Which, which is remarkable. Yeah, people had time. Lots of people apparently, right? 348,000 likes, 44,000 comments. Had time to watch a guy with no video editing for 48 minutes doing this kind of very, I mean, I'm talking faster than he is because I, I, I guess I've been maybe, maybe I'm overcompensating at this point. Like I assume that you're going to fall asleep, not, not you, but just the general viewer, myself included. I know, I, I notice that within myself that I get bored quickly. Right. So I maybe in my own video, um, interactions, most of my videos, I probably overcompensate and try to keep you awake by, by not having too much silence and by, you know, using my hands and like by, by trying to, you know, modulate my voice, you know, all that, all that stuff that I try to do to keep my viewers awake because I don't do any video editing. Right. So I, I don't, I don't go back later and take out my ums and ahs and my silences because I make low effort videos, which is why most of my videos don't go viral. Most of my videos are maybe a hundred views, you know, 150 views, if I'm, 200 views if I'm lucky, that kind of thing. Some, some things, just a few dozen views. I make low effort videos because I'm damn lazy, right? Why I'm, I'm, I'm too lazy or I somehow feel it's not congruent with my conscience, my ethics, my, it's not unethical to do video editing. It's just not where I want to spend my precious life energy. I, I'm, I'm more interested in spending my life energy, um, getting better at other things than video editing. There's nothing wrong with it. And then some people do it amazingly. And we are all grateful for video editing because we enjoy movies. We enjoy um, highly edited videos that keep our attention. So that's all good, but it's just not, it's not my calling anyway. Um, so this is why I have to overcompensate by, because I don't do video editing. I have to, you know, try to keep you entertained and interested and not falling asleep and not going away by trying to like keep you hooked, right. By, by just my speed of talking. 
but that's not this guy. That's my point, right? So let's continue on from here. Why someone's doing something that most people would never do and they don't really understand why I would do that. So see, this is the, this is the, I think this is the punchline here, I want to say, for why this video went viral, okay? It is extremely unusual. Let me say this. Let me say, so by contrast, most of you who are watching this, who make videos, I mean, I'll, I'll, can I be honest with you? Most of the stuff you make is not, un, is not that unusual. You might think you have unique thoughts. Let, 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 let's really be, let's be clear about this, okay? When you have a thought that is like an aha moment for you, like, oh, wow, like I never thought of that before. You haven't thought of that before, or maybe you haven't considered some perspective, but I bet you tons of other people have thought of that before. Okay, tons of other people. It's not what you're not that unique. I mean, your life experiences is, okay, so here's the thing. You probably have quite unique life experiences, but you just aren't talking about them. And you should be talking, maybe not should, but if you did talk about your most unique life experiences that most people haven't had and most people would find interesting, that's the other thing. You can't just be unique. Well, I, I had a really unique uh, meal uh, last night that most of you probably haven't had or what, I mean, who knows. But it's like, it has to be, uh, people have to find it People have to want it. People have to find some yearning for it. And so in this case, in this guy's case, a lot of people yearn to have a high status career, number one, right? That's true. Number two, people would be like, people would be like, why did you quit? Like they have a, they have a yearning for such a weird decision that someone made that they would, they would probably yell at their friend. Why are you quitting your high status career? You're making so much money supporting your family. What? Right. So there's a there's an, there's emotional charge essentially there's emotional charge for this thing that he's giving us like like we who who wouldn't want a high status career we would want that for all of our friends and maybe for ourselves and and who who would want to quit them so we have emotional so he's he's saying something that has, has emotional charge for a lot of people okay and he's done something right MIT neurosurgeon a lot a lot of people would 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 could, could see could would automatically understand as being high effort but that's not most of us most of us even our unique experiences are not very high effort maybe it's by luck or by birth or whatever right and and so we haven't put a lot of effort into those unique experiences so that's the question that i have for you do you have any unique experiences or unique achievements that not a lot of people have now you could say well there are lots of neurosurgeons in the world no, not compared to the regular public. But you could say, well, I have high effort. I was a mother. That was high effort. Yeah, I agree. But there are lots of mothers. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's not that unusual. You, lo you know lots of mothers. You don't know lots of neurosurgeons. Do you see what I mean? So it's like something high effort in your life that very few people have been able to achieve. So what is that? Now, it's usually something related to your passion, right? Because if, you, if you're passionate about something, you're more likely than the average person to, to put a lot of effort into it and to achieve something in that, in that field or in that hobby or whatever. Okay. So, so that's, that's why, you know, pursue your passion, right? Because other people don't have the energy or, or willing to carve out the time to do so. All right. So high effort and high emotional charge, whatever ta thing you're talking about has high emotional charge for a lot of people. That's what gets seen on YouTube. Again, in this case, it's people would like, why did you make that decision? All right, that's high emotional charge, it's that high status. And so with, with all of that high effort thing that you get able to accomplish, saying something that has high emotional charge for people, therefore, he doesn't need to do any video editing. He doesn't need it. And he can be real slow as a talker and people will be patient. Seven million people will be patient enough you know, 350,000 people liked it. We'll be patient enough to just wait for him to talk because let me show you something here. I mean, this gets to a point. Now, I, I actually uh, picked this up earlier and I want to get to the right place here. Watch, watch, watch this. That all weighed really heavy because I thought I was going to relieve suffering. And I did relieve some suffering, but I saw so much more suffering that I couldn't relieve.
And and part of what this this video also did well was because you could feel his genuine heart. And that's remarkably rare on 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 YouTube or anywhere. People who want to make videos usually are shall we say mercenary. They're in it for the views, they're in it for the money. They're not in it because they're being authentically of service to others. And so you can feel it in this guy. That's part of it. And that's part of why it, it did so well. Let's keep going. But but that's not, like I said, that's not enough. You see what I mean? Because a lot of you watching this, I tend to draw people here watching this who are also authentic, you know, heart-based and truly want to serve. And maybe you try to demonstrate that in your video. But lots of people do as well. You see, that's not unique. High effort, something, achievement that took a lot of effort and that, um, and then you're saying something that has emotional charge because you can't just be, "Hi, I'm a doctor," and then the video goes viral, right? That's because being a doctor is hard. Being, being any any difficult career is hard. You can't just, "Oh, I'm a, I'm a whatever, you know, whatever." Insert difficult career. I've been a plumber for thirty years, but you're not going to say anything interesting. No one's going to watch it. Do you see what I mean? So, but you guys, high effort something, high effort achievement, or high effort video it could be video editing, a lot of video editing, or high effort achievement. That also is speaking to something that is emotional charge. So we're, we have three elements already. High effort achievement, unique achievement, okay, that particularly is wanted by a lot of people or that is that has high status for a lot of people. So unique achievement, speaking about something that has high emotional charge. In this case, uh, the emotional charge is this giant contrast between high status career and quitting and being alone in the mountains. And why would you do that? High emotional chart. And then a, a golden heart. Okay, that those three, well, magical combination. Let's continue on here. Even if I tried, even if I tried to do surgery. Look at this. Seconds of him just scratching and... <laughs> I'm going to change the battery. Okay, so there. She actually paused the video and continue and and continue. I mean, it's 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 amazing. And I want to show you, we're 15 minutes in, and he hasn't even given us the punchline for why he quit. And I'll tell you because I've I've watched. I haven't even finished watching the video. It's so dang long. I've watched maybe 30 minutes of it. Um, but he doesn't give the punchline until 20 minutes in. Most people would have quit watching by then, and maybe most people did. But enough people, right? At least hundreds of thousands watched enough to say, well, that was a really good point. And um, the last thing I'll say um, is that the message you'll, 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 you'll see, I won't spoil it for you. You're going to watch it yourself. The message is something ultimately that people go, lots of people were like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. And like, wow, you did something really noble. So that's part of the golden heart, you know, which golden heart that I said. You did something really noble. It wasn't just some crazy decision, but you did something really noble. And therefore, a lot of people shared this video. A lot of people share, like we wish more people, like people are thinking, we wish more people in our society would make this kind of noble choice, right? So the golden heart again, but it's the golden heart wasn't enough. It was high effort achievement that a lot of people praise. It was talking about something that has high emotional charge for a lot of people. And then the golden heart nobility, which I think a lot of people here have, but you need some other elements like this. So why else do you think this video went viral? I would love to know your thing, uh, your comments below. The thumbnail wasn't great. The thumbnail was just a screenshot of the video itself. And the, the title was pretty good, but the title really came from the message and the credibility, right? So I'm really interested to know why you think this went viral. And if I've come up with any other thoughts, I will add a comment below. Thanks. Okay, so update. I finally finished watching his video, the entire 40 some minutes of it. And um, one of the one of the um, factors I think that made this one do so well, again, besides the things I've talked about, he ultimately ends with a message that I think everyone wants to hear. Not everyone, but a lot of the people in his audience want to hear. A lot of people who are searching YouTube want to hear, which is, uh, well, I, I let me... <laughs> 
I'm not going to do the punchline here because I want you to watch the video. Well, okay, it's 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 super boring. So let me let me go ahead and share with you what the what the ultimate message is. He's basically he basically quit a job he hated that wasn't true to his soul and and conscience, and he basically says, "I'm going to quit and take care of myself. You know, focus on self care, including being being in the mountains and being with nature. Right, like like." It, it, what he's saying is basically a dream that a lot of us have, like a lot of the people in the modern world have. It's like work is, you know, there's a there's a big um, anti-work movement these days, right? Especially among millennials and, and 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 younger. It's like why why work so much? You know, we we should we should retire early. Uh, we should quit work, spend time in nature, take care of ourselves. Like it's just a really popular message, and he's living it. And also part of part of why it works for him is because he's saying he's he's being very courageous. Again, doing he's doing what a lot of people wish they could do and want to do. So he's being an example. Again, not only has he accomplished a lot, but he's then taking it to the next step and being an example of what a lot of people want. Is he quit his prestigious, high paying job due to ethical concerns, um, not knowing what he's going to do next? Right. Like he made that courageous move to say, listen, I'm just going to live on savings for a while. Well, lucky he has savings. Right. A lot of people don't. So that's why a lot of people can't do what he does, but aspire to. I'm going to live on savings for a while and just go and, you know, go and spend a lot more time in nature and with my dog um, and, um, you know, and, and, and try to try to take care of myself and then figure out what's next. And here's another. Uh, yeah, after I watched this video, I went to his channel. Let's let's take a look. And his channel has basically, if you look back, he basically makes a bunch of nature videos with, with his dog a lot of times, which is partly what makes his channel pretty popular, more, more popular than, than most channels. He's got 200,000 subscribers. I bet a lot, a lot of those came from this 8 million, <laughs> 8 million now, almost 8 million uh, view video. But probably he probably had tens of thousands of subscribers even before this video because even his oldest videos have, you know, um, thousands or at least hundreds of views, right? So he, he, and, and I mean, he is basically tapping into a niche that is popular on YouTube, which is sort of like nature sound, nature, nature videos, nature videos, basically. Um, but none of them are as popular, nowhere as popular. I mean, look, if you click on the popular one, um, sure, he has some popular videos that are nature based, but none of them close even close to a million that's not even close to a million but this one has eight million so clearly it is everything i've already said in this video and despite how repetitive i'm being no despite how he's he, he's repetitive and boring let me just let's just be be honest he's boring and repetitive in his video but because of all the stuff i said and ultimately sharing a, a message and being a model of what a lot of people aspire to the thing went viral. And not again, not just sharing a message people want to hear, but living it. Grounded living, like I aspire to that. I mean, I'm in nature, you know, he's like, I'm in nature right now. He's living proof of something that a lot of people want. So no wonder it goes viral, despite how boring uh, it is. And again, he repeats himself several times in the video. And, and literally, he it says, at least twice in the video, I, he said the same sentence two times. And I think he's thinking to himself that he's going to edit out the, the one that didn't work, but he didn't. He just kept it in. There's no edits in the entire video, which is really impressive for a viral video like that. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And I, again, look forward to seeing your comments below on why you think it worked and how you might apply these factors to your own videos and channel as well. Thanks.